Then we'll, we'll, oh wait, y'all wait till I get, get there too. Second Chronicles, but not, uh, 15, 12 to 14. And we're gonna go through that real fast, 15, 12 to 14. Okay, before, Brother, Brother Larry is going to open us up in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come before your mighty throne of grace tonight. We're praising you, worshiping you, acknowledging you as the one and true God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Lord, we just need you today. We need you every day, every hour. We just lift you up and glorify your name. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for our study time, for our worship time. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you look upon us just as you did, Job. Bragging on us. Have you considered my servant? Lord, I want to be counted in that number. I want to be considered just like you. Teach me, guide me. We just pray for all our brothers and sisters that are on the way. We pray that they get here safely. We just pray for those, Lord, in the world today. Father, the Democrats, the Republicans, the, whoever they are, Lord. We just know that whoever's there, you put them there. They're going to be, you put Nebuchadnezzar <laughs> in place. And you showed him what, what needed to be done. Teach us, guide us. Teach us, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Show us Amen. what you would have us to do, Lord. Yeah, Lord. And tonight, Father, we just lift all our brothers and sisters and family and friends and all of us who are going through things. We just pray for our brothers. Yes. We just lift up Lord. all those brothers that are suffering tonight, Lord. Those brothers who are having a hard time, those brothers who are, uh, uh, are not here. We just pray, Lord, that you would fill their hearts with your word. Yes. Your word, Lord. Your word guides and leads and protects and yes. saves. Yes. We just thank you for that word, Father. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you today, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your son and what he's done, Father. What he's done for us. You've shown us the way. You're not a God that we can say, uh, well, Lord, you don't know what it's like because you do. Yes. You came down and you went through all of it just like we haven't gone through half of what you've gone through. Yeah. So we just thank you today. And we just praise you and glorify you and know that you are real. Yes. They're trying to say that you don't exist. But most people will want to rather believe in the devil than believe in you, Lord. Yes. And I just lift you up today because you control all of it. Yes. You're mighty in word and deed. Yes. And I just thank you, Father, that you brought me to a right place, Father. Thank you, Lord. And I've been searching all my life for something real and true. And I just thank you that you brought me to the truth. Now help me. Help our brothers, help our sisters, yes. help us all, Lord, yeah, Lord, to be able to follow you in a mighty and a right way. Yes. And we pray and ask all these things in Jesus' name. Thank you, Brother. Yes. Thank you, Brother, for that prayer, yeah. heartfelt prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to start off with we sing. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. A high praise. Hallelujah. Come from the root word. We have halal to praise. Various meanings in the word praise. And we've gone over the meanings of the, the different meanings for the Hebrew meanings for the word praise halal praise and if we worship which is what we're getting ready to do we're getting ready to worship in spirit and in truth we're getting ready to sing a song that's an original song 
uh, that the Lord gave Pastor Joel and I, we sing hallelujah because the Lord is Alpha and Omega. Every breath, the very breath that we breathe, there's no love greater than the love that he gives to us. So when we say praise the Lord, there are many meanings, several meanings, Hebrew meanings to praise. Halal praise, amen, you remember what that means? Halal praise, to boast, to brag, to rave, amen? amen. Halal praise. We sing hallelujah. He's the first, the last, the beginning, the end. And then yada, yada, to throw up extended hands and worship, worship with extended hands. So when we say praise the Lord, yada, yada, yada the Lord. Yeah. Throwing up our extended, extending our hands. Yeah. Throwing out like David, he threw, he threw that rock to Goliath. Yeah. He threw it out. We're gonna throw out our praise. Yeah. Throw out our praise, yeah. amen? amen. And then we remember Barak. Barak praise. Yeah. To kneel, to bow, bow. to bless. Where the God blesses us, and we bless God with our praise and our worship. Amen. Amen. And then Toda, extended hands in faith and adoration and thanksgiving for blessings not yet received. Toda, Toda praise. Toda praise. Yeah. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then tonight we have another one. And it's called Shabbat, Shabbat, but it's spelled S H A B A C H. Shabbat, Hebrew, Shabbat. And then it's a Hebrew word, and H seven six twenty three, a lexicon, the lexicon Strong's H seven six twenty three, Shabbat, Shabbat. I put the accent on the second syllable and has a V instead of a B, but it's spelled with a B because we're taking it the English language. But in Hebrew, it's not a V, but Shavak. Shavak. And Psalms, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, Shavak means, oh, this is a good one. Praise is a Hebrew word that encourages us to praise God with a loud voice. Sing. I want to 
open up first before we go into hallelujah, we sing hallelujah. And just let me, uh, Psalm 66, Psalm 66, 1 to 20. And it talks about shout, loud praise. It says make a joyful shout to God, all the earth. Hallelujah. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. How awesome are your works. Make a shout to the Lord. Make his praise glorious. Can you do that with a soft voice? No. That's why David come with songs and psalms about shouting. Yeah. It says, through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Yes. Salah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Come and see the works of God. Yes. He is awesome yes. and is doing toward the sons yes. of men. Make a shout to the Lord. Make his name glorious. Yes. His name is glorious. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Shabbat. Encourage us to praise God with a loud shout. shout. Praise God. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And then we'll go into the first scripture that I gave. Lord, you are. their heart and with all their soul 
And whoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel was to be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Then they took an oath. Then they did what? Then they took an oath. They took an oath. Before the Lord, with a loud voice, with shouting and trumpets and ram's horns. You know what? Go to 15. That's important. Verse 15. And all Judah rejoiced. And rejoice. all Judah rejoiced. All, Judah, all rejoice. Judah rejoiced. At the oath. For they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with all their soul. And he was found by them. And the Lord gave them rest all around. The Lord gave them rest, rest all around. So we rest in the Lord. And that's something to shout about. That's something to praise about. That's something to give God a hallelujah shout about. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I'm going to start calling up my readers. Uh, 1 Chronicles 15, 28. Hallelujah. Who have 1 Chronicles 15, 28? So I'm just going to be calling you all up. So have your, your scriptures ready. 1 Chronicles 15, 28. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the horn, with trumpets and with cymbals, making music with strings yes. and harps. Hallelujah, keep going, keep going. First, uh, it's First Chronicles 15, you started at 28. Okay, with in harps, and what happened? 20, Verse 29. 29. Mm -hmm. And it happened as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, then my, Michael, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw David whirling and playing music, and she despised him in her heart. Hallelujah. The important thing here is the ark, the presence of God. The presence of God was coming to spend, to, the, the presence of God was coming to stay in the, with his people. But we have the Holy Spirit, amen? We have the Holy Spirit to come. His presence is made known as we call him up in our worship, as we call him up in our praise. He said he will never leave us nor forsake us. But he entered, the presence of God is entered. Enter into his presence with what? With singing and into his course with praise. So praise and singing with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. God saw, he wants us, he, he, he inhabits the praise of the saints. So when David was bringing in the heart of covenant, God's presence to be with the people, that was something to shout about, to be with them, to stay, to have a relationship, to wake up in the morning and know that God is right there, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Through our trials, he's right there. Through our troubles, he's right there. Through our temptations, he's there with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's something to shout about. Shabbat. Shabbat praise. Hallelujah. Shabbat praise. Thank you, God. So who's next? Ezra. Is that Brother Terry? Ezra 3, 11, 13. Ezra 3, 11, 13. See, that's why I don't like this up here because it slides. That's why I put it on. That's my 3, 11, 13. Say Shabbat. 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 Gotta say it. Shabbat. Shabbat. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I like that, Terry. Praise God. Praise God. Ezra 3, 11 through 13. And they sang responsibly, praising and giving thanks to the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. For his mercy, his mercy endures forever. Seeing the forever, and all the 
people shouted with a great shout. They shouted. When they praised the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and heads of the father's houses, old men who had seen the first temple, wept with a loud voice when the foundation of this temple was laid before their eyes. Yet many shouted aloud for joy so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout and the sound was heard afar off. Hallelujah. When we lay the foundation, when we lay the foundation for our families and they go through the same things that we've gone through and we know that the Lord has taken us out of those things that we were in. And he's going to take our children out of the things that they have gone through, that we have gone through. Because I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that God will. I believe. I believe that God will. I believe that God will. Because we have made the foundation. We have made the foundation for our family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Restoration. It sounds like Brother Jerry got a, got a testimony. Hallelujah. Restoration of the temple. Hallelujah. Restoration of our souls. Hallelujah. Restoration of our homes. Restoring our homes. Amen. Hallelujah. Restoring. Restoring our communities. Only Jesus can do that. Glory to God. We can sing it. We can speak it. We can shout it. Glory to God. And the world won't understand. The world will say they are crazy. But we're crazy in love with Jesus. We are crazy in love with Jesus. Because we have a powerful, powerful testimony that our God saves. That our God restores. That our God is a great God and an awesome God. Come on, Sister Karen. Yes. Sister Karen is going to take us to Psalm 5, 11, 12. Okay. Psalm 5, chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. Okay. I see him saying, why not me? Hallelujah. But, but let all those who resort, who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy, put their trust in you. Let them ever shout with joy because of you defending them. Let those who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O oh Lord, will bless the wise sinners for it of his name is his name is exalted Thank sing you. to the Lord for he has done excellent yes. things this is known in all the earth cry out and shout O inhabitant of Zion 
for great is the Holy One of Israel in your midst. Amen. Hallelujah. Great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Patricia, Luke 17, 15. Luke 17, 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God. Hallelujah. Luke 17, 15. And what, what did they do? Let me get there. 17, 15. So what happened again? Tell me what happened again. 17, 15. And one of them. And when, one of them. When he saw that he was healed. When he saw that he was healed. Returned. And with a loud voice glorified God. Glorified God. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. This is what happened. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is a healer. He's a healer. Hallelujah. So likewise, you, when you have done all these things, which you are commanded to say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what, uh, what was our duty to do, verse 10, verse 11. So now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, verse 11 and verse 12 said, then as he entered a certain village, there met him 10 men. We're talking about the lepers. That's what Patricia was just reading. She was reading about 10 lepers who stood afar off and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Jesus, Master, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, go, show yourselves to the priests. And so it was as they went, they were cleansed. They were healed. They were healed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice, Shabbat, Shabbat, glorify God. With a loud voice, Shabbat, glorify God. So when you when you show up in church on a Sunday, on a Sunday morning, afternoon in the case, a spiritual church for a while, or when you sing on this platform and you've been through something and Jesus has brought you from something, from something, what happens? You shout hallelujah with a voice of triumph. God has to bring you through something. That takes a personal relationship. Now only one came back. That's why you have the remnant. Not everybody gonna come back. They gonna come. A multitude may come looking for something, but the guy, the leper, got something. God healed him, and what did he do? He came back. He came back. And that's what that's us. When it comes seven o'clock, prayer, Bible study, well, I'm there. I'm there. Sunday service, I'm there. I sing hallelujah. I shout with the voice of triumph because I love the Lord. Pastor Joel and I, what God has brought us through yeah. makes me want to shout. Hallelujah. Makes me want to sing hallelujah. hallelujah. When he brought you out of the darkness yeah. into his marvelous light, yeah. brought you out of that pit, yeah. you saw hell and back. Yeah. He delivered you. He delivered your children. He saved your life. He gave you breath to breathe. Yes, he could have taken us away after he gave us salvation, but he has work for us to do. And you know what? We obey his commands by doing the work that he has for us to do. We worship him in spirit and in truth. We sing hallelujah. Let's close out with we sing hallelujah. From the chorus.
Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. 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 